Two magic movies coming soon to DVD. The first movie about magic is the incredible Burt Wonderstone. Since I am a magic lover, I waited a long time to see this film. And since I am a magic lover, I managed to get a screener copy of another magic movie. Oh, not that Wizard of Oz film. No, this film is about a true story of a master illusionist, Mark O'Brien. Not to be confused with the poet that lived a majority of his life in an iron lung. I'm sure that will be on DVD soon too. Timing is everything. Walking Through Fires. This true story biopic is a low budget indie flick that was put into production long before Wonderstone. Seeing Wonderstone just a few days after fires made me, well, wonder just a bit. I was able to see some strange coincidences. Let's start at the very top of the film. Both of them open with the main character walking to or from school. Eerie, to be sure. Okay, so let's look at the main characters. Steve Carell. G. I've heard some of the actors on the set of Fires told Mark O'Brien he was a double for Carell when he began filming in 2006. Take a look. Okay, now of course there are the basic similarities that a magic film might have. Kid watching famous magician on TV, inspired to become a magician. The magic kid. But yikes. What is the magical friendship? Fires is a story told to a lifelong best friend. A friendship since childhood. Oh yeah, the magic kid again. Next up is the cage and the mullet. Of course, any magician from the 80s could be Wonderstone. Did you say mullet? Nobody was looking at Mark's clips on YouTube, right? Like the leopard clips? And there's Mr. Copperfield. Here is a tidbit of magic history for you. See that gentleman with Mark O'Brien? That is Joe Cates in Germany. He flew over to see Mark's show. Joe Cates was Copperfield's producer for his first five or six TV specials. David, how long have we been friends? We're not friends. Mm -hmm. No, David and Mark never were friends. Mm -hmm. So the film starts the same way. Mm -hmm. And, oh yeah, let's roll a clip towards the end of Fires. Mm -hmm. They'll have some big Hollywood ending where you have a new show in Las Vegas. What did you say, Bill? Big Hollywood ending with a new show in Las Vegas? Roll that again. Have some big Hollywood ending where you have a new show in Las Vegas? Hmm. Kinda like how Wonderstone ends. Wait, take it back further. Take a good look at that screenplay, will ya? Cause I gotta get it ready for Hollywood. Well, you know, they'll probably screw it up. They'll hire Nicolas Cage to play you. Then they'll, uh, they'll have some big Hollywood ending where you have a new show in Las Vegas. Hey, just getting the story out. That's what's important to me. Well, you know, you have to do it yourself. I mean, that's what you always told me. You constantly have to do it yourself. Right, you do. You have to do it yourself. Yep, that's right, Bill. Hollywood would probably screw it up. Makes me... Wonderstone? Maybe someday someone with real guts will tell the real story behind the arson on magician Mark O'Brien's property. WTF? So here's the real deal. The folks at Lazarus LLC have to do it themselves. Hey, just get the story out. That's what's important to me. You know, you have to do it yourself. Just like in the movie. And they have made this DVD release very special. They're releasing the DVD as part of a fundraising campaign for the daughter of one of the film's actors and filmmakers, Aaron Tucker, who passed away unexpectedly last June at 43. But they need your help. Walking Through Fires was completed before Wonderstone shot one frame. They are looking to Indiegogo to produce the DVDs and raise money for Aaron's daughter's education. So go to the site below and get your DVD. Get the story out and help a worthy cause.
Is your life a movie, or is a movie your life? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if we teamed up, it could bring your career to the next level.